Walk, Adrian, walk with mom. Please. Look normal. Adrian, please. <laughs> please. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on this video because this episode is going to be a jam-packed one. I'm going to be traveling a lot, I'm visiting family, I'm going to be going blueberry picking in a bit, um, I'm attending a wedding later this week, so lots of festivities and shenanigans that will be taking place. And yeah, I just wanted to hop on here just to say hello and introduce you to the vlog and I hope you enjoy it. So we are at Emilia Farms here in Delta, BC, and here they have so many different things you can pick. You can do strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, black currants, you can do sunflowers. And right now, since it's end of July, early August, it is blueberry season. And in a previous vlog, I actually came here with some friends and now I brought some family. So I just got back home and I'm about to record a voiceover audition. I don't have too much to do. I just have to record one take of a 30 second commercial and then another take for a 15 second commercial. <coughs> uh, hmm. First, I need to record my slate. A slate is like an introduction. A E I O U. Hi, my name is Claudia Kai. That is not what I sound like. It reminded me of, of the video of like, um, when Zach was trying to impersonate me. Remember when we went to Stanley Park and I was asking you guys to take a picture of my outfit and I asked you guys to film it like by video. And then he was like, I do copy like all the other girls. <laughs> Are you doing my internal monologue? Okay, I think I got it. These girls will love young teenagers will love this. <laughs> <laughs> So we are currently on the ferry heading to Salt Spring Island and for those who don't know, Salt Spring Island is one of the Gulf Islands and it's in between Vancouver and Vancouver Island. Um, Salt Spring is a very slow paced, hippie, bohemian kind of island. Artisans live there, it's known for its arts and crafts and its music and its organic stuff and for its farms. We're actually heading there for um, my mother-in-law's wedding and we're gonna be there for a few days. It's my first time visiting Salt Spring Island and I'm really excited to take you along with me. Hi, hello. Okay, so I know I just told you that we were on our way to Salt Spring and now you must be wondering, Claudia, why are we back in your old bedroom in your mom's place? Good question. Thank you very much for asking. I'm back in Vancouver after the Salt Spring trip for work and I'm here to talk you through the footage I'm about to show you because when I looked through all the clips of what I recorded at Salt Spring, I just thought to myself, wow, this is really messy. I don't know how I'm going to edit a coherent narrative. Henceforth, I'm here to talk you through what we did. Cue the footage. 
So right when we got off the ferry, the first thing I had to do was film a commercial audition. So even though I was on vacation, work opportunities still come in and I had to be prepared. Luckily, I brought all my equipment and I had my husband helping me out. And I also had my husband's baby cousin's toys as props. So that all worked out perfectly. We then spent the rest of the day just getting situated in our new home for the next few days. So this house is like right by the beach and it's really near the downtown area of the island and it's the this big piece of property. There are like five bedrooms, two living rooms, one TV room, a kitchen, a big front and backyard. Every room is like full of character. It's rustic and homey and cozy. And we had a lot of the family that was attending the wedding staying at that house. So it was just like we were all staying in this big summer vacation house for the week. And it was chaotic, but it was awesome. We didn't do much on that day. We just spent the morning working and after that we met up with my mother-in-law and her then husband-to-be. We helped them out with like the reception venue, just decorating it. We helped out with prep for food because they weren't doing catering for their dinner. So they actually had family members making the dinner for them. And we were in charge of prepping all the vegetables and things like that so that the next day they could cook it right away. Um, we also just ran errands here and there and that's how we spent day two. So day three was the wedding day. I don't have footage to share with you because it was of my family and it's personal and intimate. So let's just move on to day four. The morning after the wedding, everyone went out to brunch. I stayed back, I stayed at home, and I just had some alone time. I'm introverted and I was pretty burnt out from all the high energy festivities and shenanigans. And I really needed time to be alone to rest and recharge my battery so that I could socialize again. What would you like? Ice latte. 16 ounce? 16. Hi, Roosters. Someone's really burying himself. <laughs> Let's go.
This was my last full day and so we just took it easy that day. We went to my mother-in-law's favorite bakery on the island called MB Bakery. Then we went to grab some soft serve dairy free ice cream. Oh wow, that's really good. You want some? Sure. It's um, half vanilla, half chocolate. It's like vanilla bean. And then we ended day five with some nighttime kayaking. It is currently 9.54 and we're gonna go out to do some nighttime kayaking to see the bioluminescence. 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 You said it right the first time. Bioluminescence. Okay. It's so dark. Like my flashlight is barely doing anything. Look at that, look how dark it is. This is my paddle, got my club soda, waiting for my husband, which on camera you can't even see. Are you okay? Fine. Okay, good. I'm fine. This was my last day, aka yesterday, so I just took an early morning ferry from Salt Spring Island to Victoria, and then from Victoria to Vancouver. And the reason why I'm back in Vancouver was because yesterday I had a private movie screening to attend to, and I got to see all of my colleagues, and we got to hang out, and that was a lot of fun. And basically that just brings us to the present moment, right now. Hello, welcome to Coffee with Claudia. I hope you don't mind that I'm in this reclined position. I just want to get comfy and cozy for this personal, intimate chat. So sorry for that terrible accent. First question is, are you still acting? Yes, I am. I'm still acting. I'm still doing auditions and whatnot. It's just that I don't always talk about it on this channel. So just because I'm not talking about it doesn't mean it's not happening. Do you still use tarot cards now? I remember you mentioned tarot in one of your Notion videos. No, I don't use tarot anymore. Um, I don't think I ever really like seriously believed in it. I just had a bunch of friends and co-workers who were really into it and I just was directionless and thought that that was the thing I had to use in order to find some sort of value or meaning in my life. It's not for me and it will never be. Do you believe in manifestation? If so, how do you recommend it to us? Tips. No, I don't believe in manifestation. Um, I don't believe in any of the new age beliefs. I know that in previous videos, I do push that agenda out there and I apologize for that. Um, that was certainly a part of me back then and 
that's real. I think I was just looking for a belief to believe in because it seemed like it was working for a bunch of people my age and there seemed to be a lot of noise, a lot of attention around it on social media and on the internet. So you just think, oh, well, it's working for them. It might as well work for me. So yeah, I don't subscribe to that anymore and that's okay. Why I live in Victoria slash Vancouver Island versus Vancouver? I love Vancouver so much. I would like to move back here actually. I live on the island because my husband is from the island and financially we have a great situation going on which helps us save money. And right now with the housing, the renting climate, it is just, prices are ridiculously high and money right now doesn't carry you as far as it used to. And so it's important to save where you can. And we're in a rental situation where I'm not over the moon about it, but I am very happy and very grateful that I can save money right now. And so right now we're saving money. We're gonna move eventually, and then we're gonna move again probably. But right now I know that Victoria is the place to be, to save and to meet our financial goals so that in the future we can get to a place where we want to be. Did you read the bullet journal method book? Have you met writer? No and no. Um, I've never read the bullet journal method book. Um, yeah. <laughs> Last question. Something has changed in you. What is it? Thank you very much for asking. Pretty weighted question. I will try my best to unpack it. Um, so some of you may have noticed, especially if you compare my latest videos to the videos from like nine months ago or so, my life has changed drastically and I think for the better. I apologize for not updating you any sooner. I really do suck at keeping people in the loop. Not that that should be a sufficient excuse or anything, but I did not want to speak too soon. I want to be careful with the words I say. And also, um, I just feel like maybe this is just a me thing that not many people would care to know more about me beyond what I provide in the bullet journaling community. And therefore I kind of put my personal life on the back burner on my channel, if you will. But maybe that's a selfish thing. I'm sorry if that is, I don't know. Anyways, where shall we start? So yes, I am married. My husband and I eloped back in May. It was on the third day of the week. We had a beautiful sunset wedding. It was a quiet, intimate, private, very beautiful elopement. That week, the weather was not good. I mean, it was raining, it was gloomy, it was windy, and it just didn't seem like the sun was ever going to come out. But on our wedding day, which was the third day of that week, the sun came out for the whole day. We had a beautiful sunset and a rainbow came out for us. And if that doesn't say Yahweh's hand was in all of it, then I don't know what will, frankly. Um, so yeah, it was very beautiful and we are so blessed to be able to get married. We really are. I'm not sure if this comes as a surprise to you that I'm married because um, you might think, well, you're so young. Why are you married or something? I, I don't know what you could be thinking, uh, but all in all, you know, it's my life. It's my relationship. It's my marriage. And we have been together for almost six years now. And we have shared many transformative experiences together as well as numerous difficult growing pains. And we have walked through many, if not what feels like all seasons of life together. And I'm very grateful that I get to do life with my best friend who really does compliment me and has the same goals and visions and values in life as I do and that's really important. I also got another question as to if I will be a homemaker and I am a homemaker, like I really do enjoy it. And I'm not just a homemaker, like I'm also a content creator. I am a business owner. I, um, I'm an actor. I am a creative. There are so many things that I am beyond just homemaking. And that's about it. I hope this update has brought some clarity to you and I hope you enjoyed this heart to heart conversation with me. If you have some questions to submit for the next heart to heart or if you have any topics you would like me to talk about, please do not hesitate to comment them down below in the comment section or DM me on Instagram or something like that and I will try my best to include them in the next heart to heart conversation. I think this is the end of the vlog. This has been a long one for me just cause I've had so much going on in the past couple of weeks. I don't travel as much. 
I hope you know that. Um, I just know that in the past couple of vlogs, it seems like I'm always on a ferry. I honestly only come to Vancouver once a month. It just so happened that I had a work thing pop up, so I had to go on a ferry again. Um, but really, I am a homebody and I like staying at home or just, you know, within my neighborhood. It's just that there's been a lot of festivities going on and therefore you gotta travel to, you know, be with family and that's a priority I have in my life. And yeah, I just wanted to take you along with me. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay healthy and safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!